Hey guys, I just wanted to show you my homemade do-it-yourself case annealer. What this is, this was a, a jar opener <clears throat> is what it's supposed to be. There was more to it. I took the bottom off of it and just left this part. Um, I picked this up at the thrift store for two dollars and you push the button, makes the, the wheel go around and and eels your cases. This little part here was part of the upright that I took out of there and bent it to fit there. Um, this is a bottom of a one pound coffee can cut off at the first ridge and it fits perfect for cases. It'll do my uh, 308 uh, 6.5 and 223 cases on this one can. If you're going to do Magnum, you're probably going to have to cut a separate can, but you just stick it in this holder and you're good to go. Cut a notch in it, you can see right here, uh, to let the case fall out. So all it's got to do is make one revolution, the case falls out into the box, and that's it. Um, I could wire the switch so that it stays on all the time, but I just want, I put a case in, run it, and it drops, I let go, and it's lined up for the next one. So I, that's the way I'm doing it so far. Maybe later I'll uh, do something different. Uh, it's just a regular torch. I took the top of the can that I cut off, cut a groove in it to hold the torch. Now you, you can play around and get that just the way you want it. But you do need to get some of this Tempelac uh, so that you know that you've got the torch in the right place. And all you do, you know, is paint your neck with it like that. This is brand new, so it's a little thin right now, but it, it works. It'll thicken up over time, and I guess they sell a, a thinner for it once it gets too thick. But, so I had some idea already put on, and the idea is to point the flame so that it's hitting right on the section of the neck right here so that it doesn't get too far down but it gets the the, the neck itself at 750 degrees so all that you do is you <clears throat> light the torch once you get it set up then you can do your right your cases so i played around with it for a minute so i got an idea so that should be good right there you drop the thing in there let it spin it'll go around and then it'll drop in the in the case in the hole now you want it so this temple act gets black or transparent instead of the color that it is this probably could use a little more so i need to put the case the can the torch just a little closer maybe pick it up a little bit do another one. There. This stuff is hot, so anyways. Now it's black up in here. That's what you wanted. You wanted the temple act to change. Uh, so now it's at 750 degrees. We're all set there. I'll do another one just to make sure. Yep, that's good. It's black there. You can see now I'll do one that's not, doesn't have the temple lack on it. Because once you get it set, you just keep going, just drop them in there, let it run, do it the same every time, you're all set. There. And as you can see, you've got, well, it's hard to probably see on camera, but it's, uh, it's annealed. It's supposed to uh, be good for your accuracy and make your case seating better. Just like I said, set one up, get it ready. And you're all set. And the way that seems to work, it always stops in the right spot for the next one. So, and there's another one all annealed, and that's all there is to it. Like I said, it's just a, you could use a electric can opener or anything that you could mount 
this holder on to to make it go around it won't doesn't even really need this part because it just rides around on the bottom of the can anyways without really going anywhere um, but this just makes it make sure it stays in the right spot but that's all there is to it there and uh, it, your cases are annealed you can see the marks on it you can see that it did actually anneal it so I'm uh, I'm pretty excited that this thing cost me a grand total I already had the torch um, this piece of metal here was just an L bracket I hooked to a board and then I screwed it to the uh, front of the <clears throat> the old lid thing and I got two dollars in it oh <laughs> except for this stuff this stuff here is 30 bucks for that bottle it probably lasts the rest of my life but it's you got to buy that or you don't know what you're doing there's no way to know if you got the right temperature if the torch too close too far whatever without having that stuff so you really need to get that and then some kind of motor is all you need um, and and you're good to go so okay guys that's pretty much all I got for this one uh, subscribe thumbs up be nice and uh, I'll be see you again on the next one have a good one